With voters putting the brakes on the streetcar expansion, we wanted to find out exactly what's the next step. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is at Union Station at the last southern point for the streetcar. And Cynthia, this is a big win for streetcar opponents, but it doesn't mean that the expansion is dead. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's talk about that victory. It was a small victory, but nonetheless, a victory for Smart KC. That's the group that opposes the Kansas City streetcar. Now, the measure that passed last night actually requires a citywide vote before the streetcar route can be expanded. And right now, nothing changes. Uh, the existing route will continue operating its normal schedule, but last night's vote definitely jeopardizes the planned southern route expansion from Union Station to the plaza and UMKC. Last week, voters along that southern route through Midtown Kansas City approved paying more taxes to bring the streetcar line through their part of town. Well, now the streetcar authority is waiting to see if that's even possible after last night's vote. We still have to figure out what that means for streetcar expansion. Uh, the Kansas City Streetcar Authority just entered into a contract to continue planning for a southern line to U UMKC. So we're going to continue working on that effort. So now basically this becomes a legal issue. Uh, the city attorney in Kansas City is being asked to weigh in on whether or not the question that voters approved last night is legal or if it can be challenged. We'll keep following the story for you. Live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.